Hello beautiful people and welcome to my channel. My name is Jennifer Diamond and I live a whole food plant exclusive sofas free gluten free lifestyle for health and well-being. And I'm on a walk right now and I was just thinking we should talk about hydration. So first of all, if you're new here, I just want to let you know that sofas is salt, oil, flour, alcohol, sugar, and gluten free. Uh, that's uh, what I, I do. That's the lifestyle that I lead that has helped me in so many aspects of my health. And one thing that's really important, say hello. Hello. <laughs> is hydration. Um, before we get into that, I just wanted to share that Todd and Remy and I are on a walk and we try to walk him um, every day or almost every day and the importance of um, not only exercise but getting out and having, you know, just the outdoors is, is so beneficial in so many areas. And so here in Arizona, especially this time of year, it's hot, 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 hot. You know, we're talking 118 plus sometimes degrees and that my friend is very hot. And so it's important for us to make sure that we're hydrated all the time. And one thing that I can share about hydration is from my past, there was actually a time when I was told that I was drinking too much water. What? <laughs> yes, it's true. And what was happening is that I was like flushing out all some vitamins and minerals and um, some of my levels were low including potassium um, and so I just <laughs> I just um, ended up you know having to pivot and what that means is I started drinking coconut water and um, that really helped balance me out but I have been really interested lately in the benefits of other forms of hydration besides water. Now that's weird because <laughs> I always say to myself, to, to family, to friends, you know, to make sure to, that you're hydrated by drinking water. I mean, our bodies are mostly made of water. And I think water is important still. <laughs> but what I have also learned recently is that we can get hydrated in different forms that are still natural and that can offer us more things like vitamins and minerals and nutrients that will enhance our hydration instead of depleting it. And what does that mean? Well, having really juicy fruits that are filled with water, like watermelon. Watermelon is a great one. And um, on our way out the door, I actually grabbed a piece that I would show you, but I already ate it, <laughs> which is fine. Um, but what are other things that are really full of like different kinds of juices and liquids uh, within them? All kinds of citrus, oranges, and oh my gosh, when it's orange season, um, there are so many varieties of orange, blood orange, navel orange, Arizona orange, Orange is the, the kind that we have in our backyard. We have an, an orange tree, but you know, right now it doesn't really have any oranges that we could pick and eat. Um, there's the cuties, those little ones, and um, there's the sumac oranges. I mean, it's just can go on and on. Grapefruit, grapefruit's another one. Of course, lemon and limes, which you can add to foods. I don't know too many people that peel a lemon or a lime and eat it by itself, so I'm not suggesting that. But, um, you know, just kind of look at things and see, okay, what does this 
What does this fruit have to offer in terms of hydration? Even fresh mango, um, kiwi, all of those types of things. And to try to incorporate that if you aren't a big water drinker, let's say, or you, you know, you're concerned about flushing out nutrients and, and other minerals and things that, um, that sometimes over drinking water could do. Now, I am not making any suggestions. Um, I'm certainly not a medical professional. All I'm doing is just sharing some thoughts about things that I've been thinking of for myself and different ways that I could balance drinking the water, which I still do, but other ways that I could preserve the minerals. And um, so anyways, I just wanted to share that with you. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and you'll be notified when I go live or post new videos. And please give this a thumbs up. I so greatly appreciate all the support and love um, that I get from you guys. And it just helps me know that you're interested in the content. If you uh, have a question or you want to comment or just chat with me, please leave a comment below and um, let's chat. So another thing I just want to share is that I've been really, really working hard at some of my um, park skills. I don't know. <laughs> Balance beam and, um, you know, the monkey bars. And so when I get to that part of the walk, um, I will be showing you my progress. And it's been a work, a work in progress and it's never over. But exercise can be fun. It doesn't have to be a chore. And by sharing with you what I like to do, um, Maybe it will encourage you. Oh, there's a bunny. I wonder if I could show you. Can you see? No. Oh, he's gone. Oh, he's there, but you probably can't see it. I think I would like to try to catch up to Todd and Remy, who are ahead. I'm going to turn the camera around and see if he has anything to say regarding hydration because his version of hydration is way different, I think, than mine. At least it used to be. So hang on. Remy. Hi, sweetie. You want to say hi? Do you like to drink water? Remy. Remy. You like to drink water? Yeah, but you more so like to go for a walk? Okay, let's go. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Ooh. Good job. <laughs> okay, so sweetheart. Yes. Um, you know, there are there are things that are uh, liquids and drinks that people like to drink and consume, including yourself, mm -hmm. that um also can be dehydrating, right? Like coffee yeah. and um i don't know if tea is i don't i don't know about that i just know that tea can have caffeine um even the decaf yeah. um, but i don't need to go down that but i bring up coffee specifically because i know that you personally like to drink coffee and so um whether you want to talk about coffee or you just want to talk about liquids in general uh let's hear your spin on water and hydration well, so yes i would certainly not drink uh coffee for hydration uh, <laughs> why do you drink coffee uh it's just part of my routine my morning thing that uh you know, I'm a, like most people, a creature of habit, I guess. So I have this routine that I go through every morning to start my day, and that's just always been part of it. And uh, it, so, I guess, it gives me some mental stability, uh, being able to, you know, have that consistency in my day. Okay, I guess that's another topic because... <laughs> yeah, it's probably um, a whole different topic. Yeah, <laughs> because, well, first of all... Um, Wait, what's the topic? My mental stability? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, it could be. That and might be a like, different topic that, too. That's not like a whole different show. There's like show. all kinds of different topics <laughs> coming out of this one. No, but um, no, but so, okay, well, you know, the few things that come to mind really don't have to do with hydration when you mention coffee, which is, um, you know, habit forming, um, caffeine, yeah. and all the stimulants. So, you know, we don't have to go down that rabbit hole, but are you a big water drinker? Why and why I, not? No, I'm not a big water drinker. Um, I mean, there are, there are scenarios where I am, like when we're hiking, uh, we're packing 
you know, gallons of water um, on my back, uh, which is quite heavy, by the way. Um, so in those cases, yes, I drink, you know, water. Uh, but during, you know, any normal day at home, probably not so much. Um, Are you concerned I, with hydration living in the desert? Well, I, it's always a concern, um, whether you're living in the desert or living anywhere, frankly. Uh, Come on, Amy! You know, I think, you know, for, for me, I drink a lot of apple juice. Um, and why do you choose apple juice? You know, I don't drink it. So, apple juice has flavor, obviously. It's like apples. And I like apples. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, I guess it depends where a person is, right? But, so, why, that's the point, though, right? Is Why like, did you. Tr okay, I, I, was, I was just going to say, what were you drinking prior to apple juice? Because. Uh, I was drinking tons of soda. Soda. Really bad. So, bad, bad, I bad, mean. Bad, 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 bad. Yeah. So, anyways, okay. Did you? Is there? Are there any uh, other tips or anything that yeah, you'd like so, to? Yeah. So, you know, water is obviously it's really, really good for you. Um, you know, filtered water, clean water, you know, that kind of thing. Um, but if you're not into water, <laughs> uh, or if you don't, you know, find it, you know, stimulating to your palate or whatever, you can flavor it with lemon or lime or. You know, real fruit juices, you know, things that, you know, you pull out of your garden or you get from the produce section. Um, and then just juice them and throw it in there so you got flavored water. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you for that. I was um, uh, also thinking about some tips on flavored water, but... Um, uh, different things that you could do yes I'm gonna I'm gonna share a little bit more you can put sliced orange in it you can put watermelon in it you can flavor it with strawberries cucumbers mint um, anything but I was just talking about when you don't want to drink water how can you stay hydrated or the importance of hydration in any aspect but at any rate I think we covered it pretty well thank you for your tips and and sharing what works for you and let me know what works Works for you and um, we're gonna be approaching the park soon so I got to get ready to climb and play on the equipment we'll see you in a few So if you set your mind to doing something and you practice, 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 you will succeed. I guarantee it. So just don't forget, do something that's fun, 
and maybe look at your hydration in a different way. How could I bring in more uh, hydrating foods? And I mean, even lettuce has, has water in it, but you know what I mean, or maybe you don't. Anyways, I'd love to keep the conversation going and let me know your thoughts on playing at the park, um, eating your water, <laughs> and anything else you might want to talk about. Everybody, we're going to finish our walk. Take care. We're excited to be with you. Don't forget, eat your greens. All right. Bye for now.